So I'm often asked when reviewing GPSs if they'll read triple digits. So we're gonna find out right now, guys. We're just cracked over 100 kilometers per hour on the vehicle, and there we go. So yes, indeed, this GPS will read triple digits. It's clear right there and right there, guys. Let's get on with the video. All right, guys, we got the ZMR GPS speed reader here today. This is a newly listed item I found on AliExpress. And you know what's nice about this one, guys, at least what I thought was nice about this one, is it's advertised to be used with RCs. And I'm like, yeah, definitely going to grab this, bring it in, and share it with you guys here. So let's have a look at it. Came in a nice case here, made it from China all the way over here to Canada. Let's open it up. There's the GPS unit there. We got the charging cable, Type-C on one side that'll plug into the GPS unit, and standard USB on the other side to plug into a standard USB wall outlet to charge it up. Now, when you're charging it, it's going to have a red indicator light. When it's charged up, that'll turn to blue. What else we got here? We got a couple uh, foam mounting pads there. Those out of here. And then we've got the instructions. I'm going to throw the instructions up on the screen, but uh, it does come in Chinese and English there. And we'll throw them up on the screen. There's a few things I want to review here. And this is where it kind of got questionable for me whether this was going to be a, a good unit or not. Now... There's two ways to somewhat zero this out. It actually says right here, the data after reset will not be zero. And that's like what, like if you're doing a speed run and you're truly doing a speed run and you want it to count, you need to zero out the GPS. And this unfortunately doesn't do it. And they have two ways of getting it to reset, let's say. You can leave the GPS for a minute turned off and turn it back on and that will what they call zero it out or reset it or when you turn it off the reset button right here you rapidly push it multiple times I believe it says short press and then turn it on and that's what we just did and that's what we'll do right here just powered it on with the slider switch right there and you can see it's uh, turning on there and it's zeroed out but wait a minute it's not going to stay like that for long. Zero satellites. It says fix OK. And it says GPS 49. So what does that all mean? Well, let's look. See, right now it's reading 2.33 kilometers per hour. And as our max speed, we haven't gone 2.33 kilometers per hour. I'm holding it right here. And you can see it's kind of fluctuating. Really, all we're concerned about is the number of satellites, which is currently eight right now, and the top speed. I did want to show you the case is nice. It does have a, a one cell LiPo battery in there and is branded ZMR. You can see the GPS module on top there. So it's a nice little package. I like that. That's where your uh, Type C charging uh, cable would go right there. There's your port for charging it up. All right, guys, we've got the ZMR GPS mounted to the MGX Hypergo here. We'll do a little speed run here. And let's run it down the laneway a couple times and see how it uh, performs here. All right, let's turn it on. It's booting up. Now we need minimum seven satellites. We've got nine. Might be hard to see. And unfortunately, this is not able to be zeroed out. So as long as it's a fraction of a kilometer, apparently it's good to go. So we're good to go. Get it down there. Now with the... Uh, let me just adjust the camera here so we can see the laneway a bit better. Now with uh, the Hypergo here, I'm going to be running on 70% throttle for my first pass, and then we'll switch it over to 100. And we're not going to go too far because the range on the Hypergo is not that great. Good enough. All right. back here let's see what we got all right first pass there what we got here 53.49 kilometers per hour now for some reason this LCD screen when it's uh, being filmed it looks like it's uh, moving all over the place but it's not guys it's it's uh, not doing that looking at it but on the camera it is all right we're gonna switch it up to a hundred percent now and we'll see if it accurately uh, reads the max speed past that. 53 was at 0.49 kilometers per hour. And 
unfortunately this only reads in kilometers per hour as far as I know. All right, here we go. And we're running on 3S by the way. All right, I'm assuming that was quicker. Yeah, all right guys. So there we go. It did uh, improve 60.88 kilometers per hour on that one. So that works. That uh, only reads your max speed. And like I said, unfortunately, we can't properly zero it out. So guys, this GPS is going to be absolutely useless if you're thinking about using it for speed runs. The fact that you can't zero it out properly, the amount of lag you saw when I was in the truck there, comparing it to the speedometer of the truck, this thing was uh, taking its time to keep up. It was quite laggy. Now, other GPSs I've reviewed, yeah, they're a bit laggy, but not like this. This was a little bit slower than what it should be. So, which means during speed runs, you're going to have to be on the throttle for that much longer to make sure that that uh, speed actually reads. And the fact that you can't zero this out properly, it really, uh, it really is not worth it getting this for the price it is. What I'll do, guys, is I've got a couple other options that I'll uh, leave links down below in the description, along with the reviews that I did of those couple GPSs. And the price of those are going to be probably less than what this is, if I if I recall. So check those out, guys. You're definitely not going to want to use the ZMR GPS here. It's a waste of money. So, guys, I think we're going to leave it at that for right now. If you like this video, make sure you have a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out. And remember, don't be a stranger. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.